What? Do you want strong shoulders or not? Then stop standing there like an idiot and press me, you dummy. Hey there, I'm Captain America. So you've decided that you want strong shoulders. And as we know from the last video, the kettlebell press is the best exercise to get those strong shoulders. But of course, you don't want to be flopping the weight around. You need precise instruction and attention to detail in order to get the benefits. So what are you waiting for, soldier? Let's get to it. All right, so in order to press the weight, you're gonna need to get it up to the starting position by your chest. This is called the rack position. You can do this by either bringing up the weight safely by yourself or having a friend hand it to you. But remember, a well-executed kettlebell press is a single line of tension from the ground all the way to the top of your hand. So there are a few things that you'll need to pay attention to in order to get it right. You have to have a solid rack position before you actually press the bell. I mean, you wouldn't build a house with a weak foundation, right? Well, not one you'd actually want to live in. If your rack position is weak, then your press is definitely also going to be weak. Here are the checkpoints you need. Figure out your stance. For most people, their optimal stance is going to be shoulder width apart or slightly narrower than shoulder width. You definitely don't want to be too wide. A nice little trick that you can use to find your stance is to squeeze your butt. Whichever stance allows you to squeeze your butt the hardest is probably your optimal stance. Screw your feet into the ground and squeeze your butt. Now just because this is primarily an upper body exercise doesn't mean your legs can just hang out. Remember, single line of tension. To do this, you'll need to externally rotate your feet against the ground and squeeze your good friend, the butt. As funny as it may seem, squeezing your butt is an extremely important part of not just the kettlebell press, but most other exercises as well. This will help stabilize your lower body and prevent the weight from going to your lower back. Squeeze your abs, but keep your posture tall. Obviously, you don't want any tension to be leaking from your midsection. So squeeze your other group of friends, the abs. Keeping your abs tight is yet another technique that will keep your lower back safe. Now, it's important to remember to keep your posture tall. You don't want to round your upper back. Think tall, not crunch. Keep your wrists straight. Your wrists should look like this, not this. Bending your wrists like that is going to cause a lot of pain, either immediately or in the future. So don't do it. Make sure the kettlebell is in the right spot. The kettlebell should rest in the triangle of the arm, like right there. I'll be honest, it might feel a little uncomfortable on your forearm if you're new. Don't worry though, it'll pass with time. In the meantime, suck it up you big baby. Lock your shoulder in place by bringing your elbow in tight and squeezing your armpit. This step, very important. Otherwise, you're gonna leak tension in your upper body. And this is mostly an upper body exercise, so that'd be very bad. So how do you know if your shoulder is in place? Well, just imagine that someone is trying to yank your arm. If you're tight enough, it should be pretty difficult to move you from your position. You'll also notice that when you do this, your forearm will be perpendicular to the ground. This is a good thing because you're pressing the weight directly up. So your forearm should be pointing up. You know, like a spaceship launching into space. Make sure you're not leaking any tension. This step is just to make sure that you've done all the previous steps. Your starting position should be rock solid and impenetrable. If you're starting in a weak position, your press is guaranteed to be weak as well. As you get better, you'll get good at getting into a strong position faster. And if you notice anything missing, either make adjustments or just restart the process. I mean, you have all the time in the world. No need to rush anything. Once you have all these checkpoints in place, you can press the weight. Just keep your gaze forward and punch the sky. Yes, it really is that simple. Be sure to exhale when you press up, and when you lower the weight, make sure it's controlled. It doesn't have to be slow, just controlled. I mean, it's generally a good idea to be in control over a large hunk of metal over your head. I mean, who knows, what could possibly go wrong? That's it, the kettlebell press. If you do them correctly, 
you'll get some strong, beastly shoulders that you can use to keep the bad guys at bay. You might also need a new shirt though for your new bulging muscles. You can probably get one on Walmart. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a comment and share it with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned.